Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to this card making project. Today, what I thought was we're going to use the brand new Anna Griffin beautiful trimmings, embossing folders, and dies. I'm so excited to be able to show you a card project using these because they're just so beautiful. So, we're going to start off with a blank card, and on our cardometer, it is a 7x5 inch card so that's what it looks like on our scaling just so you get a good idea the first thing as always we're going to add an insert now this is a really simple insert and it's one sheet of ivory paper we're using ivory cardstock by the way sorry forgot to tell you and I'm just going to place the ivory insert in and I've cut it just a little bit smaller than our card as you can see. Everything I use I'll put in the description box below. You might have to click the word show more to open it up and you'll see all the details and all the links and everything. So that's our insert that I've added and I've simply stamped an image saying thank you onto a shaped bit of scrap card and then three more bits of scrap card. I've used the Paper Tricks 2, the smallest flag die, just to cut these out. And I've stuck them to the back of the stamped image, just with double sided tape. And then I'm just going to position that on the inside of our card, just there. And I've just slightly inked the edge of the words thank you. So that's our insert panel. Simples, nice and quick and easy and using your scraps. Now for the front of the card what we're going to do is I'm going to start off where I've cut a piece of card from the Grace collection to fit the front and this could be scrap card, it could be anything because you're not really going to see it but I just wanted to make sure that if there was any gap there was something there to cover them as it were so I'm just going to position that on the front of our card so it's just you know a nice little layer really for the front now this is where the fun starts what I've done is I've taken one of the grace papers I've cut it into two 12 inch strips that were just over two inches wide and then I've run both of them through the Paper Tricks 2 embossing folder for the actual pleats. And the embossing folder is the one where we used it for the fans and we used it for the actual fan bows as well. Once I've done that, I've joined them both together because one 12 inch strip wasn't long enough. And then I've folded them and I'm going to position them at the bottom of our card. Now this is the trickiest bit. It's easy, but it's the trickiest bit for me because I'm reaching around a camera. So what I've done, just to try and help me a little bit, I've added double sided tape at the top on both sides. Now it doesn't look too cool on the back, but it's only to help it stick down. So what we're going to do is we're going to well I'm going to take off the tape on the back and then I'm going to place there's a little knack to add in the folded um, card so I'm just going to take off the tape and then I'll show you how we pop it on so I've stuck the tape down really well and for anybody that knows me I always have trouble with my tape so just peel the back of this off might need a little bit of help here because I've put so much on but you do need a good amount because you don't want your paper plates coming undone okay so I'm going to start off and I'm going to place one side on the card and then press that down firmly and then because I know I've cut this to size I'm going to go to the other side 
and I'm going to press that down firmly and then I'm going to work my way in to the middle pressing it down there we go and making sure that is all sat tightly on our card okay so it's just that's the trickiest bit of the card is actually getting it straight on the on the actual card front I'm just going to cut that bit of tape off because it's going to get in the way the next thing I've done is where I've added the tape on the front we can peel this off now so let's just take off the top of it so I didn't want to get all this prepared too much because I wanted you to see it from how I added the tape and everything and make the folded plates so that's now ready for the next part of our card so what I've done is I've taken the beautiful trimmings embossing folders and the die I've cut it out with the die first and this section is not embossed but then I've used a piece of metallic card from Anna Griffin I've cut it with the die and um, with the dies and then I've taken it through the matching embossing folder now I will say I use some wax paper with mine because I've got a Big Shot Sizzix machine and I didn't know how it was going to work and the first time on it, I use embossing folders I normally try and use wax paper with them however I've since used it without and it's fine so I've kind of tested that for you but you might want to try it with it yourself or without if you've got any issues then try changing your sandwich I didn't have any problems but you never know, different machines are, are very different. So that was just my take on them. So what I'm going to do first is the actual plain um, cut that we've made. I'm going to add some 3D foam on the back of it. And I'm going to position it where I want it to go on the card. So roughly I know... I want that section so I'm going to add 3d foam on the back of this and then I can position it on our card and I'll just take the back of the foam away and like so and I'm going to pop that over the actual pleating that we've just added so it's a third way down shall we say but it's covering the adhesive on the actual pleating so I'm just going to trim that so it's the right size and there's my super duper anagriffin scissors available uh, from the craft channel and HSN so that's the middle section. Next I'm going to do exactly the same with the embossed part and I'm going to marry it up and I'm going to add 3D foam on the back of it. So as I said I didn't want to prepare this too much because I didn't quite know how our pleating was going to go and where it was going to sit and how it was going to look. So right, I'll just peel the foam off like that and that's the last piece. So we're going to position that over the layer that we've just added leaving a little section at the top. So there we go. Again I'm going to trim the excess away. This could be used for another project. You don't no, you don't have to throw it away because of the beautiful embossing on it. These folders are fabulous, they really are. So that's 
the two layers so far. Next what I've done is I've got one layer of the metallic card that I'm just going to add underneath there if I can slip that in like so and I want it to just stick slightly to the layer above and snip that away oh I know I'm using adhesive on my scissors <gasps> oh no snip those two ends and then I've got one layer of the actual card from this layer that I'm going to add central like that and pop that on there and again I'm just going to snip the ends of these off use my adhesive scissors for this one okay so that's so far so good and that's showing the layers and the embossing next what I've done is I've made a paper bow in the matching grace paper and I'm literally see I said it again literally I'm just going to take a glue dot and I'm going to pop that on the back of the bow and I'm going to place that in the centre of our card and then I've got a sentiment from one of the kits that matches perfectly and I'm going to position that just below the bow and that is our card finished and that is so pretty and it's got the paper tricks with the paper folding it's got the beautiful trimming embossing folders and it is just absolutely awesome even though I say so myself I know I shouldn't but that is so pretty so I'd like to thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this please give me the thumbs up why not subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for many more different projects and hopefully I shall see you again next time so thank you very much for watching see you again